Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. I'm gonna be talking about 10 products that I am shocked. I have not hit pan on yet. I saw my friend Kelly Gooch do this video. I will have hers linked down below. Kelly is like the queen of panning makeup though. <laughs> Let's be serious. So when she's like shocked, it's actually a big deal. Uh, I am not the best at panning my makeup products or using them up, but I've been getting better with it. I have a 9 in 2019 project pan that I've been working on all year long. I will link that playlist. I started incorporating a shopped my sash shopped my stash series also back in January, and it really has been helping me use up some makeup and even pan some makeup. So Definitely, I would say check out my 9 in 2019 project pan because it's got some exciting things going on over there. But I do have 10 products to share that I've been using for a long time or just using really consistently or are favorites. And I'm just truly surprised that I haven't seen that little bit of pan on them yet. So if you're interested in to see those 10 products, why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so I did want to say that I did film a little bit of this look. This is in my ColourPop Midnight Masquerade video. I am pre-filming because I'm going to be in New York for the Ipsy Live event. I believe this video is actually going to go up once I'm back, but I wanted to have a, another video just already filmed, you know, just in case anything, you know, I get behind or anything like that. So uh, I will go ahead and link the video where I do the eye look. I did change up my makeup a little bit uh, I I mentioned in that video that we are actually um, having some services tonight for a family member that has passed away in Mitch's side of the family so I had the new ColourPop lashes on uh, I took them off I actually had my lip wiped off I, I didn't think I was gonna have enough time to actually sit down and film another video but it ends up that I do so I just quickly like reapplied my mascara and put some lip gloss on so I can film this but if you want to see how I got this eye look and a few of those new ColourPop products that video will be linked also but jumping in to the products that I am surprised that I have not hit pan on so one I thought it would like throw it back to one of like an eyeshadow that I've had in my collection for a very long time. Some of the first like YouTube made me buy it type of eyeshadows if you will. And those shadows come from Makeup Geek. So I have my Makeup Geek single shadows in this palette right here. Specifically the one shade that I'm really surprised I haven't hit pan on is the second one here which is Creme Brulee. I do have a pretty decent dip in it but there is no pan in this one yet. Uh, nothing at all and I'm just a little bit surprised because I use this color so much especially when I first went through and purchased makeup geek singles like did anyone else sit down when everybody was filming their makeup geek singles and like their favorites makeup geek palettes with all their single shadows and like take notes and then go and buy from the makeup geek website because I did that but creme brulee was just kind of like that first shade I was always using it in my eye looks and I have had it for years so I'm really surprised that I haven't and then also shimmer shimmer also from Makeup Geek. This one too, I'm surprised I haven't because I, once again, have used this a lot. I definitely think that I've used, and you can I can see that there's a bigger dip in Creme Brulee, but there's also a really decent dip in Shimmer Shimmer as well. So I use this all over the lid. I can use it as a brow bone highlight, an inner corner highlight, you know, just all, all that sort of thing. And it's a really beautiful shimmer shade. But again, that came in my first purchase from Makeup Geek. The first shadows that I purchased from Makeup Geek were uh, Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, Coco Bear, and also Shimmer Shimmer. So I'm a little bit surprised at those two specifically that I have not hit pan on them. Another eyeshadow that I'm surprised at is my Natasha Denoni. <laughs> Why do I always call her Denoni? I've done that before in a really bad video. My Natasha Denona mini nude palette okay and the shadow in here that i'm really surprised i haven't hit pan on is this a second one so again just like with creme brulee like the shades are slightly similar this one is a little bit more of that camel brown but this one has a huge dip in the pan like a huge dent right in the center of it and i keep waiting every time i put my brush into that shadow i'm like this is the day that it's going to happen because these shadows are pretty small the, this is like the mini mini from natasha denona and I use this palette so much. I travel with it so much. I've talked about it so much on my channel, but that shade specifically I have gone into so many times. So I was just thinking with how already like how small the pan sizes are, I was like, I'm going to hit pan on that one really quickly. And I'm very surprised that I haven't. So that one is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. And then the other eyeshadow palette that I am a little bit surprised at is from Huda Beauty. This is the Mauve Obsessions palette. And the shadow in here that I'm surprised that I haven't hit pan on is this last shimmer shade there. Because I just think that shadow is so gorgeous. Once again, there is a dip in this one too. Like there's a pretty decent dip. And I... 
I do have an eyeshadow palette that I have panned. That's in my 9 in 2019, my most recent check-in for that project pan but also the um the huda beauty smoky obsessions there's a shimmer that is right here in that palette i have actually gone through that one so much it ended up breaking when i was traveling with it once but i think it's because it was so uh like it was so used so that's a little bit why i'm also surprised that this one hasn't even at least broken so i've had to like repress it which isn't the same thing as hitting pan but i think it Again, with Smoky Obsessions, I think it was because that product was so used. It had a huge dip in it, a huge dent in it. And it was when I was traveling to New York last year, actually, for Gen Beauty. I came home and it was shattered, so I've had to repress it. And I also took this palette with me to Gen Beauty last year, too. So I'm almost a little bit surprised that that one hasn't had that same thing. I'm glad about it, but also I am a little bit surprised that I'm not, like, through that shadow just a little bit more. That makes sense. Uh, but those are the eyeshadows that I'm surprised that I haven't hit pan on. I have a contour shade. This one is actually in my current 9 in 2019 project pan. So I just recently did that check-in for it. The next check-in will be like the final end of year um, update, if you will. The finale, I guess. Not update, finale. And this one here is from The Balm. This is the Take Home the Bronze Bronzer in Oliver. I this one I have been using so much I can't remember how long for sure I've had this one but it was I got this sent to me from the balm NPR because mine is actually an Oscar they ended up renaming the shades so mine is an Oscar so I got like the first batch that came out and I'm like how have I not gone through this thing I have been trying it I have it in my project pan I've put it in my shop my stash bag now twice I have it in my current shop my stash bag for October I have it on today as my contour it's really beautiful and it's so natural and it's just so easy to use and I'm really surprised I've seen a lot of people go through their entire bronzer slash contour shades of these they have different shades this one is just a better suited contour for me and I'm like how have I not even gotten a little bit of pan in this just like a little bit of one I don't even know but that is from the balm and then I where was I talking about this bronzer in oh it was also in my shop my stash bag when I was doing my September recap because I had this bronzer in my September bag and I was like I'm so surprised I put it in my September bag of products that I focus on really consistently throughout the month because I was like I think I'm gonna hit pan on this like I think it's gonna happen and it didn't happen so when I did my recap video I was kind of like what and I mentioned in that video would you want to see you know products that I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on and so many of you guys said yes but I said sneak peek like if I film that video the Jouer bronzer duo is going to be in there so I have the Jouer bronzer duo in the light to medium duo and both of these shades have been so loved a lot of times when I wear them I just run my brush along the two of them so there's not even one over the other that I'm surprised at both have a pretty healthy dip in there too like i just use this one so much i travel with it so much i really like the compact but i like the formula i like the blush duos from jouet but particularly this bronzer duo i'm just really surprised at and then another bronzer actually that i have in here is from becca cosmetics this is the capri coast bronzer this is another bronzer that i have had for a very long time and when i first got this and was trying it out it was i didn't have as big of a bronzer collection as i do now so i was really using this one a lot uh this is in capri coast if i didn't say and i don't know if you can even tell on camera there is quite a dent in that pan and I am so surprised, like I am so surprised I haven't hit pan on it yet. When you get the Becca bronzers, they have like a indentation over it. I mean, that is, you know, pretty much completely worn away, even all along like the sides of the pan too. And I, I'm just, this was one that just surprises me so much. I, it's kind of one of those products too that every time I use it, I think this is the time. And it's not the time i also i like this bronzer it has a little bit of shimmer to it but it's also still nice and natural looking so i feel like i can build it up but sometimes that means i use it more so this one i'm like really and like i've also seen other people go through their becca products their becca bronzers i'm like i know i'm light-handed but like jeepers another bronzer oh boy this one is from physicians formula the butter bronzer this was actually in my project pan from 2018. i tried for an entire year to even just pan this bronzer and it didn't happen like how how is that even possible i mean i feel like even my becca bronzer looks like it's been more used because you can still kind of see a lot of the 
the indentation mark around here too. There is a pretty good dip in it, but I don't know what it is, guys. Like, And I've had a lot of people tell me, especially when I was trying to paint it last year and it wasn't happening and it wasn't happening, a lot of you have said it takes a really long time to hit pan on this bronzer, but also people were saying once you do, it breaks, kind of like that Huda Beauty eyeshadow that I was saying. It breaks and you repress it and then you go through it again. But I, I mean, I haven't even gotten to that point. It just is what it is. So that's my Physicians Formula bronzer. Maybe someday I'm going to hit pan on it but it hasn't happened yet. To finish it off with highlighters, one highlight is in my Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill, the Champagne Glow Face Palette. So I purchased this palette when it first came out, and the highlighter that I'm most surprised that I haven't hit pan on is this one here in Champagne Pop. We have Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop, and then three blushes. The blushes I've used really consistently also. Prosecco Pop I do like, but Champagne Pop was just it was one of my favorite highlighters, one of my most used highlighters for quite some time there. So I'm really very surprised. There is a bit of a dent in it. Like I can see the little bit of like the dip with the highlight here, but even still, especially a few years ago when this came out, how much I was using that highlighter, I am just really surprised at that one from Becca Cosmetics. Another highlighter is my OG, the first highlighter that I ever purchased. This is from The Balm. So many of us can probably say this together because, well, not only do you know me, but I feel like this is so many people's first highlighter. It is Mary Luminizer from The Balm. She was so many people's first. Like, Mary Lou. What's she doing, girl? Well, this was my first highlighter and my only highlighter for quite some time. I kind of had have had like a love-hate relationship with highlighters. I first got into them because I was seeing the trends and I was like, yes, this is great. Went to Amazon. That's where I purchased my Mary Lou ad and it came with the highlighter brush and I was like, okay, this is great. And then after a while, maybe it was after like the full face using highlighters only challenge, I was like, I think I'm kind of over it. I was dealing with a lot of texture on my skin. I got off the highlight train. I was off. I unboarded, I was like, nope, this is not for me anymore. I don't wanna do this. And I changed up my skincare routine. I started really focusing on how to get rid of like the texture on my skin and just all of that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back on the highlighter train. Choo, choo. Now I have gone on to love highlights and even collab with Over Cosmetics on my own highlighter. So we are back, we are clearly, we are clearly we have gone back on the train, okay? Uh, we're even, I think we're the conductor of the train. Maybe Nikki Tutorials is the conductor of the train. But I'm her co-conductor. Is that a thing on a train? I'm not exactly sure. Mary Lou. So she was my first highlight for a long time and my only highlight for a long time. So I'm like, how? I also tried to pan her in 2018 and it just, she's like, I'm just going to be with you forever. We're just always going to be together. And I'm like, okay, Mary Lou. Like, I get it. I get it. I was gonna make another first joke in there, but I was like, mm, I think we're too much, too much. But let's just wrap it up with the last highlighter. This one is also currently in my 9 in 2019 Project Pan and one that I am really surprised I haven't hit pan on. That is from ColourPop and that is the Flexitarian highlight. I am a big fan of the ColourPop highlights, both the Super Shock and the Pressed highlights. That's what I have on today. One from the new Midnight Masquerade collection. But this one here in Flexitarian, I've had for quite some time. I think this was my first ColourPop super shock highlighter that I got. So I've had it for a while. I've been trying to pan it this entire year. So really focusing on it. I mean, I use it as a highlighter. You can use it as an eyeshadow, brow bone highlight, inner corner. Like that's what I, I like. I just go back to it so much. I always travel with it because it's really easy to just pop in your bag. Like I'm not worrying about it. Like some other highlights you're maybe worried about if they're going to break, like not this one, not with this formula, not worried about it. And I'm just like, how? And I'm surprised because when I first started buying from ColourPop, I was buying these Super Shock eyeshadows that came in, you know, obviously like similar packaging to this. And I was hitting pan on the eyeshadows like right away. And I realized that you don't actually get like a ton of product with the eyeshadows, which is probably why they were only $5. Like I get that. But I was going through full super shock eyeshadows from ColourPop and I have hit pan in one of their super shock blushes as well. So I'm like, how not with this highlight though? So that's kind of wild to me, but I feel like the day might be, maybe it might not be coming actually. I don't really know for sure with Flexitarian. She's, she's, she's just doing her own thing, but I am trying. I am still trying my best to pan this one in 2019. But other than that, those are the 10 products that I am 
quite surprised that I have not hit pan on yet. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Was there any surprises in here or what are some products that you have been either using for a long time or just using really consistently that you're like, how have I not hit pan on this baby yet? I would love to know. Other than that though, if you guys do enjoy today's video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in tomorrow's video.